Hi, and welcome to today's RSO Roundup. I'm Sergeant Albert Martinez, and I'm here today with Deputy Mike Crabe, where once again, we're gonna discuss, talk about some of the uh, dive team and some of the benefits of actually being on the dive team. When you're off duty, do you ever go out in the Bahamas and, and do it there, or is it so, just work-related? So, no, no, the, the fun part about having all the certifications is being able to go pretty much anywhere in the world and dive. Um, that's definitely a plus side of it. And diving in itself is is just relaxing. I know a lot of people have, um, whenever I mention diving to anybody, the first thing that pops in their head, sharks. Everybody's afraid of sharks. Hollywood has just destroyed sharks for people. Um, it's no different, I, I describe it like this, it's no different than people that go hiking and you see a bear. That's very you true. Know, an apex predator out there, you know. I'm just hiking under the water is the way I look at it. Um, but it's a completely different world. I know you said you started off before you be became a member of our dive team. Yes. By going to an organization. Yes. and So so I, I hooked up with retired Sergeant Randy Lum. And he helped my dad um, go through a, a veterans program and gets open water certified. And in that program, you bring a buddy. Dive, diving's all about, it's a buddy sport. You, can, you don't dive by yourself, it's too dangerous. So you always have a dive buddy with you. So I went through as my dad's dive buddy. Um, and then after that, um, I was introduced to the dive team. Well, moving forward, um, Sergeant Randy Lung, he started an organization called Dive Guardians. And it was a way to, um, bring diving and the therapeutic benefits of diving to first responders um, at no cost. So he started that up and I, I jumped in with him almost from day one, helping him out with that. Okay, so for those that are listening, those of you that are watching Dive Guardians on Instagram, Facebook, and they also have a website. The website is uh, www.diveguardians.org. Now, if you want to be part of that program or to receive some of their training, what are the requirements? You go, you go to the website, and then once you're on the website, you there's applications, and you can apply to be a volunteer. Uh, you can apply to um, go through the program. Um, you can donate um, because it's nonprofit, so we, we work completely off of donations. Okay, now the purpose of the program, what what so, does that program do? So, what does it help out with? So Randy had a, a buddy who was in law enforcement and um, that member of law enforcement committed suicide and that really affected him. And he wanted to look at a way to to help prevent that and to help people that are that are struggling, not only mentally, but physically. We've, we've had people go through our program who are amputees and and to see somebody who thinks that that they they don't have a whole lot more they can learn or do because of whatever disability they have, the, the water is a great equalizer because you get into the water and you're weightless and you don't have to depend on your limbs the way you do when you're out of the water. So we have special gear, we have web gloves, we have all this stuff um, to help benefit anybody anybody that wants to go through the program. And to see somebody go through the program from day one who's kind of hesitant about it, they're really fearful maybe, doubt their ability to even do it, and then go through the program with Randy and come out and, and accomplish being an open water diver, it, it's amazing, it's amazing. It's like they're we're introducing them to a completely different world and a whole new lifestyle that they can participate in now that they never even imagined they could. So the benefits are, are amazing. And they get to discover that other world that most, pe most people don't even know exists. No, I mean, mo most of our planet's covered in water and we haven't even touched, you know, scratched the surface of what's under there. I mean, we just kind of hang around the, the coastline, you know, maybe go out a couple of miles and, and dive, but I mean, there's things out there that are amazing. That's awesome. Uh, I know that the dive team or any dive team or just being a diver, there's some type of brotherhood, family, there's a special flag that, oh, definitely. that you wear. So, so with our dive team, um, we have our, you know, with our department, we have our sheriff's team patches, but um, we also have uh, dive team patches as well. So 
I'll give you one of those. So what Mike here's giving me is a it, it looks like our county patch. Uh, it actually has some red and a white stripe. Is there any significance that's, to the red and white? Yeah, stripe? that's your dive flag. So anytime you see a dive flag, it's going to have that red with that white stripe running through it. And when you say a dive flag, any any kind of dive shop, any kind of uh, anything dive related is going to have that red flag with that white line running through it. OK, um, when, when you when you're out in the water and you see a boat, they'll have that red flag with a white stripe. That means they've got divers in the water underneath. Got it. OK, see, so, uh, for most of you that didn't know that um, I'm familiar with, you know, when you water ski and you fall off, <laughs> fall yes. off your skis or something like that, you get an orange flag. But for divers, you, there's actually a red and white flag that you put on your boat to say hey, there's a diver. And there's divers under the water. OK, mm -hmm. that's that's actually uh that's interesting. I've seen those. I've seen the stickers. I've seen that on trucks. And like you said, yeah, when you do go to dive shops, you see that. So that's that's interesting how um, that is used for that. And I appreciate the the, the patch. Thank you. Um, how long have you been in the dive team? I've been on the dive team for about three years now. Three years. So I, I got into it and I went full steam ahead, 100%. Teach me everything. It, it just it helped me with my own um just stuff that you go through daily on in, in this job um and it just became something that that i needed and i just made it a part of my life okay and then as far as the equipment is that pretty pricey um it's like anything um you've got the high end and you've got the low end but the thing with diving is once you have your gear your cost is done I mean, it's, it doesn't cost anything really to walk out into the ocean. Um, you know, you can go down and park at La Jolla and just walk into the ocean and start diving. Um, you'll get some cost if you go on boat dives and things like that. But um, but the gear is also, you can just rent it. You don't have to purchase the gear. Okay. Um, you can just start with a basic snorkeling set to see if, you know, you like it. And you can just hover around the top of the water and, and look down into the ocean. Now, for those that are watching, because they're probably looking at both of us having goatees, does that affect your gear? Um, mustaches can, just depending on, on how your mask fits, but it's not a big deal. There's, there's plenty of people that have facial hair diving. It, it, it's not an issue. So it's not a full face mask or how, how's a mask on? You can do either. You can do either. You can do either. It doesn't okay. matter. Anything else that you'd like to add as far as this program that you're part of? I mean, it sounds it sounds awesome. So uh, I'll tell you one of the benefits. One of the one of the biggest benefits of this program is when we do our open water dives, we go out to Catalina. And um, I know a lot of people have been there, but they haven't been in the water in Catalina. And this is what sold me on on diving. When I went out to Catalina, the first time I got in the water, I hadn't even gone under the water yet. I just stuck my face in the water. And I was in a fish tank. The, the it was a I'd never seen that much sea life in one place. In in an, in an instant, I was sold. I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" And then the first time you see a shark, it, it, there's so many different emotions going through you when you see a shark. And then when you realize the shark really could care less that you're there, and they just kind of swim by doing their own little shark thing because the shark knows they're a shark they don't care about you yeah and then it, it's amazing and it, it just changed my entire because I, I had you know the fear and all that of that it's a normal fear you know you see all this scary stuff about you know sharks and things like that but we grew up with jaws yeah don't jaws terrified me yeah it terrified me and i lived in hawaii at the time so i was scared to you know put my toe in the water but now i mean i look for them you're looking for something new that you haven't seen. I don't go after them, touch them, things like that. But, you know, they have dives where you can feed sharks. They have um, cage dives when you want to, if you want to go, you know, check out great whites. If you want to be in a cage to do that, that's fine. But I've seen divers that dive with them. You know, they, they, they really don't care that you're there. So you mentioned Catalina. I've seen pictures and awesome pictures where it just literally looks like you're just taking some stairs down into yes. the water. Yes, there's stairs right into the water, right off Casino Point. Um, you just take the stairs right down into the water. And there's a, there's a lot of videos and a lot of pictures on the Dive Guardian's uh, Instagram page. Um, 
that we put on there of diving in there. You'll see um, videos of amputees diving. You'll see videos of new divers. You'll see um, just amazing things that you, you've never seen. You know, you can only see so much snorkeling. Um, and then, but once you go down a little bit deeper, there, there's a kelp forest. And just think of a forest that you would walk through with trees that are 40, 50, 60 feet high. It's the same thing under the water. Wow. You've got these kelp forests that are 40, 50, 60 feet high, and you're swimming through them almost like you're flying through this world. And, and it's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, best place you've gone diving? Um, I love Catalina, but Shaw's Cove in uh, Laguna, um, that's my favorite place. That's just, I go there, I'm at peace. I can, I, I swim around, I know the area really well. Um, and it's just like taking a hike that I've done, you know, a hundred times. So, I mean, you've got your tropical places. There's amazing places. My, my bucket list dive, my bucket list dive is in Iceland. I wanna go dive in the glaciers and touch both continents at the same time. Which sounds very cold. Oh, it's, so, <laughs> so we do, we, we do ice training with the dive team. So we, we dove under frozen lakes. Um, you're actually fine under the water. It's when you come out. So the water, you know, is, you know, maybe 34, 35 degrees when you're down there and you've got your gear on and your dry suit and you've got thermals underneath it. So you're fine under the water. It's when you come back out and all of your gear freezes because it's, you know, wow. five below and, and everything freezes up. And then when you go to do a second dive, Everything's frozen. You can't breathe. You can't, nothing's, everything's frozen. So you actually have to jump in the water, allow the water to thaw out your regulator so that you can start breathing. Wow. So it's just well, a different, different challenge. Something to think about, but luckily for us here in Southern California, we don't have no, the ice problem. No, we don't. Uh, well, some of the lakes freeze over. Definitely. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Well, you know, for those interested in joining or being part of the Dive Guardians, yes. you know, look them up on their website, look them up on their Instagram and Facebook. And it's for all first responders, okay. law enforcement, fire, EMS. Um, if you're a first responder, then you qualify to apply um, for the program. Randy's, uh, not you, but Randy is a retired- a Sergeant uh, with the department. Sergeant with our department. So that brings it back to our, our department, yes. which is, it's an awesome thing that he's doing. So, oh, it's amazing. We thank him for that. We thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being part of that, being part of that that program that helps um, our law enforcement partners, family, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. So with that said, thank you for being part of the show. Oh, and you. we want to thank everybody that's watching us, listening to us, the RSL Roundup, either on YouTube or on Facebook and Instagram. Once again, thank you for watching.